that which is real never changes. So think about that for a second. Everything changes. The only thing that doesn't ever change, the only thing that is real is love. There's also a quote that says, only after the great awakening will we realize that this is the great dream. And yet fools think they are awake, presuming to know that they are rulers or herdsmen. We're talking about the matrix, that we are in the matrix. And as time goes on, it gets harder and harder to tell what is real. Is this by design? Can we trust our eyes anymore? This is technology that's been revealed uh, at least for a couple years. But make no mistake, this, this is not new. There's this and more that we don't know about. Is our sky a hologram? There's this argument over whether there's planets in the sky or not, and people see planets, and I bet you they do see planets. I bet you could take your telescope and find a planet, or two, or three. But are you sure they're planets? I mean, we really don't know. And the more that you know, the more you realize how much you don't know. And yes, information, it's good food for the ego. We like to chew on it, figure it out, solve the mystery. But I don't think the mystery is meant to be solved within our thinking and in our minds. Because the mystery lies deeper than that in a different place. So, a lot of us are aware that there's going to be an alien invasion. And a lot of us are aware that they're not going to be aliens. We've had president after president interviewed on late night talk shows state that the only thing that would unite us as a world would be a threat from out of this world. So see, they're planting the seed. They've planted the seed for a long time now. And every one of those interviews and every one of those questions have been orchestrated. They've been setting us up for something. We have five senses and more. Most people only think they have five and they rely on that as reality. But is it reality? I mean, how do we define reality? What I see with my eyes, what I hear with my ears. We know that there are things outside of the spectrum of what our eyes can detect. We know that there are sounds outside of the spectrum that our, hear that our ears can hear. So our senses are not all that there is. And as much that's being revealed as we know that they can do, it's the stuff that hasn't been revealed that is concerning. I mean, what do we really know for sure? It's really good to start there. You know, we hear so many people say, what do you think, they have lasers? What do you think? They can do this and that? What's next? Yeah, they have lasers. <laughs> yeah, they have more. They have cloaked ships in the sky. They can create weather. They can cause earthquakes. They can suck up oceans. Fish were falling from the sky. Fish. Sounds are being heard. 
around the world coming from the sky, seeming to come from nowhere. Horns and trumpets and weird sounds. I mean, I don't think that the controllers are worried about the things that you and I know. Because for every one of us, there's a hundred people with their face in their phone, barely looking up to even say hello to people. They don't know and they don't want to know. They don't want to peek behind the curtain. They like it where it's comfortable and where it's safe. They just want to go to work, eat their dinner, kick their feet up, watch TV, drink a beer and go to bed. That's the reality that we're facing. They're not worried about the few of us that know the truth. This system, this matrix has been in the making for longer than you can even imagine. And we're just little pieces, little specks in the story. So no, they're not worried about us. They put the truth right in our face. They have to. They tell us exactly what they've done and exactly what they're gonna do. And they know that it's gonna go down anyway. It's gonna go down like that because of apathy, because of the human condition. Because most people are not looking for the answers. They don't even ask why they're here. They don't even stop to wonder why they're here. And so what do we do, the few of us that do, that ask the question, why am I here? Why was I put here? What is the purpose? It cannot be to work, shop, go out to eat, have coffee, have sex, watch sports, buy shit, and go wake up and do it all over again. I refuse to believe that that's why I'm here. There's something more. There's always something more. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Stay safe out there, and God bless.